concealed weapon carry. There's been a lot of videos on this subject. This video, I think, is really, is really going to open your eyes to some different ways to carry your firearm, and that's what this is focused on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you, like, if you want to carry a Magnum Research Desert Eagle 50 AE in a shoulder holster, how to do it during the hot summer months comfortably and what apparel to wear. I'm going to wear four or five different outfits here in a moment and this is going to be a different type of video that I've ever done. I'm going to talk to you about shoulder holster systems, the difference in, in production quality leather, which is fine, they, they do a good job, and really true custom that fits your body and how it works for you. This is a 5.7, okay? Really sweet package here, and I'm carrying a lot of rounds here, okay? I got 30, 20, and 20 right here, and it's attached to my belt. And I'll display it here, standing up here in a moment. I'm going to show you, purposely, I picked some big guns on how to put inside your waistband, like a 44 Magnum, all right? 44 Magnum inside your waistband. Man, I love leather. It's just really nice. Also, inside your waistband, an XDM 45 ACP inside your waistband. We got a lot of stuff to cover. I'm going to show you the difference in production holsters and the leather uh, compared to custom. And I'm going to show you a pouch. A lot of cool stuff here. The belt, nothing like a brand new leather belt. There's nothing like it police law enforcement style belt. This is the base of your system. I'm telling you, ankle holster, it's all here. Pocket carry, it's all here. I'm gonna wear different apparel. Let's talk about it. Welcome. Welcome and thank you. Please subscribe to weaponseducation.com. Let's start out the video with talking about the difference in production type holsters and total custom holsters, which my link is below. If you purchase a custom holster, I do call you personally and we make sure it's just like perfect to your body, your height, weight, body style, everything. We want to make sure it's perfect. But take a look here. Um, this is an excellent. This is an excellent holster here, shoulder holster on my right. And this is custom, which is handmade. And it takes about three to five weeks to arrive at your door, but it's something you'll have for life. The gauge leather is about double of a production. I mean, this is what goes right here at your neck. And you can see what the production companies do is they use plastic and the custom is all leather. The thickness of the leather is something else you want to look at. For instance, I mean, I mean, it's night and day. This is thin. Look at that real close. You can see the difference there. It's, it's almost double. The gauge is, is definitely double. And everything about the custom holster is just double quality leather. It smells good. Everything about it's good. Let me show you, um, like the belt, for instance. Belts are huge. Check out the site, please. But I stand by this stuff, and I give a, a, a lifetime warranty on it. A belt is, the, is really the backbone of your carry system, in my opinion. And there's nothing like a good law enforcement, really thick belt. When you purchase a belt from anyone in the world, doesn't matter who you get it from, I recommend you do this, and it's going to surprise you. If you're, for instance, a 38-inch waist, get a 42 or even up to a 44-inch belt. The reason being is there's nothing wrong with more leather. You go through more loops. And if you get older and you gain weight, the belt's there for life. Always get a belt when you, for, for a carry system that is, I, I would say, two sizes larger. Okay, enough said on that because I've sold so many belts, people get it and say, all right, it fits good, but, you know, 
it's just not long enough. It doesn't go through all the loops I want it to go through. Keep in mind, keep that in mind. Look at the difference in these two paddle holsters. I forget which one this is. I think it's a DeSantis or something. But look at the gauge leather. Look at, real close here please. This is custom on my left. On this right is production. Can you see the difference in thickness? It's double. This one's production. Uh, sorry, this one's custom. This one's production. Look at this part, the backbone of it. Right, uh, we'll do it like this. Right like this. See this? See this right there, real close. Look at that, real close. See how thick it is. And see this, the production type of holsters, real thin. Nothing wrong with it. Good holster will last a lifetime also, but this will last five lifetimes. All right, enough said on that. What I want to do now is I want to walk over to the corner, change apparel, and show you what I do for my concealment carry and some ideas for you with different clothing on. Here we go. Let's go do it. All right, let's start off with shoulder holsters. You know that's my trademark. I, I wear them religiously. I just really, I really like them a lot because it doesn't pull your pants down and, and, and it's, it's great. I mean, you can pull your gun out. This type of shoulder system is attached to your belt. Please take a close look here and it's up and down, straight up and down like this. And I'm gonna take it off here to show you what's going on here. You see how that is there? When you get these shoulder holster systems, what you want to do is, take a look up here, you want to put, after wearing it for a month, you want to put some Loctite, like medium strength, nothing more than that, or even a little bit of nail polish, just so the screws do not become loose. But the leather will stretch, so wear it for about a month, and then you're good to go. These custom holsters come perfect usually right out of the box. There's nothing you need to do except put them on. And what you do is you just put them on your belt, like that, and then take them off. You just, you just take it off. Okay? It's very simple. It's kind of like suspenders. Let me, uh, let me show you this. Please keep it rolling. Uh, this is, uh, this is the, the 50, the Desert Eagle. And you just take it like this. Like I said, suspenders. Now this system is not attached to your belt. You can purchase it where it's, it is attached to your belt. It's up to you. It's all custom. But for me, when it's, when it's this style, I kind of like it to be swinging around a little bit. It doesn't, it's up to you. Because I know all I got to do is go like that. I don't need this system attached to my belt. If I'm sitting in the car, I do like to have this style pointing this way. I just go boom. Okay. So that's, that's what we do. Now, how do you conceal it? All right, well, let's just do this. Any old shirt, any, any shirt you want. Now, I know it's hot. Um, so you can get any shirt you want, and it's gone. Get a short sleeve shirt. Yeah, let me fix my collar while we're still in the bag. fixing me up. Oh, by the way, what's here? Oh, you like Bon Jovi? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do. <laughs> that's your Bon Jovi thing. Everyone's going to ask. I love Zeppelin, Led Zeppelin. That's my Robert Plant thing. We'll talk more about that. I got some cool stuff over there, too. Um, anyway, the studio's really coming around good here. So there you go. You can just cover it right up. Any type of shirt you want. Wear a college shirt. You want to look nice. You don't want to come across as some, you know, vandal. I'm going to show you some other options here in a moment. Let's do that right now. Let me interject this. Do not forget about a pouch. All right, right now, let's say you're wearing shorts, you don't want to wear an ankle holster, you don't want to wear a shoulder holster, you don't want to wear a paddle holster, you want nothing in your pockets, you want to be hands free. Well, there's nothing wrong with a pouch. It's extremely manly, especially when you're loaded with a Glock 21, 45 ACP and a couple of extra mags. I really like this pouch. There's a lot of pouches out there on the market. This one's uh, Coronado. Very nice and sweet. Don't forget about wearing a pouch for the summer. All right, let's talk about inside 
your waistband. I purposely chose a 44 Magnum. I mean, this is a big gun. All right, this 629 is huge, and it goes right in there. And how, how am I doing this where it's comfortable? I'm wearing jeans that are much larger than I normally wear. Let's face it, uh, unless you wear like a spandex type of waistband or jeans, which I like to wear, jeans have to be larger. I'm a 36, these are 38s. If you're a 40, we're a 42, and so on. Look at that, just like this. So now, don't forget, you need a knife. You need a knife, and you know, sometimes I like to carry a big knife. <laughs> you know, what are you laughing about? <laughs> this is an extra large spot, and everyone always asks me, well, I'm, I'm serious, I carry this, because you never know if you need your gun or your knife. And in close combat, with these psychopaths out there, sometimes I like to have my knife. All right, this could be more deadly than my 44 Magnum within three feet. And I don't have to worry about where the round's going. So, I have a lot of knives and you guys know that, but don't forget, carry your knife. That is why the gun is in this position. You can cover yourself up with any type of apparel you wish. And that is not going nowhere. Just remember, wear some clothes that are a little bit loose on you so you can get it right in there comfortably. And when you buy a belt, I'm going to say it again, get a bigger belt than you normally wear. Let's move on to the next section. Alright, let's talk about a situation where you don't want to wear a shirt to cover up a shoulder holster or a paddle holster. And you just want to be, you just want to be comfortable. We're familiar with the 511 line of clothes and I have a, a couple of different guns here on me. I'll show you in a moment. Of course, you always have to have your, your knife, okay? So make sure you've always got your knife. But in all seriousness, let's talk about different pants to wear during the summer. We know about tactical pants. You can put so much in these tactical pants. Right now I have, here's a thrifted 7 Magnum and a pocket holster. Uh, any all pocket holster on my side, I've got the highest end suede and leather. There's even some lizard ones on there. 75 bucks, whatever you want. 10% discount code if you watch this far is Weapons Ed. 10% off. So, there, I got that in my pocket. What's in this pocket? My car, PM40. One of my favorites with the Crimson Trace Laser. Okay, make my day, buddy. I got two guns in each pocket. So during the summer, get a pair of tactical pants, but you can also do this. And this is a new idea for you, and this is what I've been doing for years. It's mechanical pants made out of nylon. These are, because I'm a motocrosser, made by the company called KTM from Austria. And we know of another company from Austria, Glock. KTM is one of the biggest companies in Europe uh, in the dirt bike line. Now, they are the biggest company, the dirt bike line. And, um, but whatever, just Google mechanical pants, nylon, very lightweight for the summer, and they've got all these hidden secret pockets. You can put whatever you want in them. And when I was going through all these different areas in South Florida, where it's like 98 degrees, this is what I wear, something light as a feather. And then to cover up, if you're wearing a shoulder holster system or a huge paddle holster, this 511 short sleeve shirt is great because it's you know it's it's kind of dressy. I mean it's it's casual, dressy, it's cool. And don't forget about this because it's got all these hidden secret compartments all over the place. You can load yourself up and still be casual and just walk around and you're 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 good to go. I hope this video helped you. I care about all of you. WeaponsEducation.com. Please subscribe. The 10% discount code is WeaponsEd. But this is all about just telling you to be safe and arm yourself. And especially during the summer, don't leave your gun at home because it's hot. Just figure out a way to carry a gun. Check it out.